Martin Craney went close in the first half, didn't they, with chances? Yeah, but we, I think we've had so many opportunities. We, you know, we've, we, we got into great opportunities where we got behind them, and, to, and then it's just the final ball that, that we're just missing. You know, that's when they're probably slightly ahead of us in terms of the quality they have, but that costs a lot, a lot of money. So we, we work on that, you know, religiously. So a little bit disappointed that we, we, we probably didn't get a breakthrough earlier, but you have to respect the opposition. And I said they're a fantastic side. And, and in the end, I thought we deserved to win, but I'm delighted with it. And you gave Norrington Davis a debut at left back, who looked really attacking as he had said he would be in uh, his uh, press conference. Look, there's lots more to come from us. He has to learn, he has to learn the position, learn where we're, you know, what we're trying to do, um, and so on. It's up to us to make him better. But look, in terms of the raw attributes, he has the real desire to get forward defensively. We want to work with him to make sure that he's you know, strong. Um, but then, and then, in, then, as I said, going forward, he provides that outlet, and we we rely on that. You know, Craney I thought was outstanding today, but we've got Breed to come in as well to that position, who's slightly more of a, a, a forward attacking threat. So, so look, it's, we're in a good shape. And yeah, with Simon Saluda around international duty, James Shea um, in the, between the sticks, and two great saves from him at nil-nil in the second half. Yeah, look, it, it, one thing you, they have is quality in around the box, and if you give them. You know, opportunities or giving chances that they can, you know, really they are potent in terms of this bit. And, and, and you see by the goal to get really early and surprised him. The rest of them you would expect James to save, but he still has to. And, and I said, we restricted him to shots from distance, and that was a pleasing thing because these are a good side, they're, they're excellent technical players. You touched on the Norwich goal there, it came as an equaliser because Luton took the lead just a couple of minutes before. Yeah. Foul on Pelly and James Collins with a cool penalty. Yeah, look, it was, as I said, it was, it was a pen. I, I haven't seen, I haven't seen the, the, the Collins actually penalty, I've never watched them, but it was good to, to get that. And then disappointed to concede straight away and it, it was avoidable. Look, the lads took it fantastically well, but we felt that the branches had too much, too much time on the ball. We didn't get to it, didn't make it more difficult. And if you do that with good players, then they can hurt you and that's, that's the thing. Yeah, but it didn't stay 1-1 for long because back up the other end and Colo's got his second. Uh, again, lovely play down the right. He was involved in the nutmeg and then Clark's put a cross in that Pelly's got down to him. Yeah, look, we're, we're pleased with, with that. We've got midfielder in the box, different variation, you know, crossing, which is things we work on now and then a good finish. And, and as I said, it was pleasing to score straight away because I think mentally they would have grown then and, and maybe gone for the win and met, would we have then stood. So it was important to get the impetus back. But look, it's a real good test for both sides. I feel, you know, I think both sides would have treated it a little bit like the final pre-season game. And it was a good test, a good test for both sides and, uh, and, and we're be definitely better for it. And Colo, we need to have a word. Got a hat-trick, uh, injury time, uh, his third, as he did against Yeovil a few years back on the opening day. Um, great for a striker. Obviously, he's disappointed he's not involved with Ireland this weekend. But well, I wasn't. No, you yeah, were. But... Yeah, I, I obviously I wasn't. So, um, and that's that's by and by. I'd rather him come play for us to go and nick a five minutes a thing. You know, he's, he's our player. He's our striker. We, we're delighted to have him. If, if people overlook him, then that's great news for us. Um, and as I said, he's worked hard to get there. And, uh, he's answered. Anything he needed to by, by scoring a hat trick. That's exactly was going to be my next point. He's, he's proved his point, hasn't he, by uh, not being selected? Well, I don't think he needs to prove his point at every level he scored. He scored, I mean, he scored between 12 and 16 last year. He's, he's a 20 goal a season man every season he plays. Near enough, that's why we brought him here. So the fact they overlooked him is, is brilliant news for me. And, and look, I don't want to say too much because Colin mm -hmm. might not be pleased, but, but for me, it's, I'm, 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 I'm not moaning. And just to look ahead, I know when I asked the question in your pre-match press conference, we talked about the League Cup and progressing. And you called it a hindrance that all these games could come so quickly in September. Obviously, the second round now is, is there. What are your thoughts on going into that second round tie? Well, we've treated, in, in, you know, that there's, we've got a good squad here that if we change one or two, it doesn't weaken the side. So we'll, you know, we'll make sure we'll use the squad that we've treated in the best way possible. Thanks very much, Nathan. Cheers.